Today I want to explain to you some of the advantages that, with the, um, the rope that we don't normally talk about. The biggest thing I see with this is, this is a whole body exercise device. When you're throwing the ball, no matter what position you are, you want to throw with your body, unless you're a third baseman, you're flipping it to the first baseman. Or second baseman, flipping it over. But when you're really throwing the ball hard, you got to throw with your body. And when I see guys warm up, I see guys warm up with their arms, not their body. Okay? So what this, the idea of this is, how do you use it to work your whole body? So, Colton, I want you to come up here. You go up there. I want you to just throw a warm-up throw. Okay? Just throw them. Yeah, go back. Yeah, go. Okay, not a whole lot of body in that, is it? Just an arm throw, right? Okay, so now I want you to take this. When you use this, you use one or two. Uh, or three. Whatever you think about. Or two. Okay, now I want you to go and try to throw a warm up throw now to him with that. Okay, try it again. Now I want you to try to pull your body, pull the, the rope through. Good. Try it again. Pull the rope through. Good. You see how he's starting to use his whole body? That's how you want to warm up. So the idea here is this is the warm-up exercise. Okay? So when we warm up, we're going to use our whole body. We're not going to throw with just our arms. Whole body throw. You're going to go throw it all the way through. Okay? Now the other great thing about this is for you pitchers, do you know, you, most days, I can't throw every day. I can't throw off the mound every day. With this, you can do this every day. So if you're working on your mechanics, you can use this every day to work on your mechanics. If you're trying to keep good mechanics, you can use this every day to keep good mechanics. All right, so when we, we're gonna break out later, we're gonna go through the pitching motion. When I get just your pictures here, we're gonna go through the pitching motion. I'm gonna show you how to use your body how to pull your body through. This teaches you how to pull your body through the throw. You don't want to, you don't want to initiate with the arm. If it's just arm, you're going to get hurt. I don't care who you are. You guys won't probably remember Rob Men, closer for uh, San Francisco Giants. He just threw all right side, all right side. And I used to say to John Smoltz, I go, I can't believe he's still doing it. I can't believe he's doing it. I said, there's one thing I know. When he goes down, he's not coming back up and he never came back after he got hurt. So you don't want to throw just right arm or just left arm. You want to throw with your body. One reason why you want to throw with your body is because your whole body absorbs the throw. I tell people, they say, I want to throw 100 miles an hour. I said, I got a guy right now, I want to throw 100 miles an hour. I said, look, I want you capable of throwing 100 miles an hour, but you don't know how to use your body to absorb the 100 miles an hour. So you, if you want to throw hard, your body has to absorb that. If you want to throw every day, if you want to throw and next day wake up and not be, you know, not be able to pick your arm up. So you have to use your whole body, not just to pull it through, but to absorb the shock coming through. Extremely important because the decelerators of your arm are the small muscles of your shoulder. So you got to understand something. Your, your rotator cuff, okay, are the small muscles underneath these. That holds your shoulder in. The muscle on the outside pulls the shoulder out. So when I want to pick my arm up, I pick it up with the outside, but when I want to decelerate, I use the inside. So when I'm throwing like this, and I'm throwing all arm, and, I'm, and my body's not absorbing it, the small muscles on my shoulder are absorbing my arm, and they can't handle that. That's why you get the rotator cuff tears. You get the labrum tears. You get the elbow problems. So with this, as you learn how to pull your arm through, you're going to see your elbow will come through at, a, at the correct position. Your arm and body will decelerate together. If that's not happening, then you're not using your body.